In this video, I will show you how to start with Oracle Cloud Infrastructure and log in as an existing user, a trial user, or a new user. If your cloud account has already been activated, go to cloud.oracle.com and provide your cloud account name selected during registration. Then move to Identity Provider and choose Oracle Identity Cloud Service which is integrated with your account by default. And then follow with username and password. If your cloud tenancy has single sign-on functionality activated, this is where you will see it. If this is your first contact with Oracle Cloud Infrastructure, you might want to start with a trial account. To open your own, go to oracle.com slash cloud slash free and click on Start for free. In the first step, you will be asked for your country and contact details. After email verification, you will receive an email with a link, which moves you to a second registration page. This is where you create your password, your account name, which is also called a tenancy name. It has to be all lowercase letters with no spaces or special characters. You also need to choose your home region. Then fill in your address, phone number, and payment details as a means of verification and credibility. Your trial account is free and it includes a good amount of universal credits, which can be spent on any available services during the 30 days of trial period. Please remember that if you wish to keep your paid tier services after that period, you need to upgrade to PAIG account. Otherwise, these services might get terminated. You can find out more details in terms and conditions, which you need to accept. And then click on the button to create your account. It takes a couple of seconds to gain access to your cloud console but full cloud account provisioning takes about 30 to 45 minutes. And when it's finished, we will inform you about it with a separate email. Lastly, if your cloud account already has an account administrator, he or she can add you to the list of users. After that, you should receive a welcome email with a link to password setup and sign-in page.